I'm traveling around the world to meet some of the people who have been testing the 572 XP in their environment. Either working in the forest or up in the trees in a city environment, you need equipment that suits your work. I'm going to meet up with arborist Ed Carpenter and his crew of arborists who are here to take down some pretty big trees. I'm Andy Campbell and this is Boston, USA. My dad and his brothers had a logging business together for about 13 years. And at a very young age, my mom used to drive me out to the header and watch dad, you know, pull the trees out of the woods and they'd be cutting them up. And I knew from a young age that I wanted to do this as a living. And this is my 22nd year as a professional arborist. For me nowadays, it's, uh, it's like freedom. You know, every day is different, every day is challenging. Every day is just so fulfilling. Our entire team is very passionate about what we do. We literally travel all over the U.S. to try to keep people safe so that they can make it home to their, their significant others and their little ones at night. Well, the hardest thing is this is the most dangerous industry in the U.S. You know, in my short career of doing this for 22 years, I've lost two friends. And so for me, you know, that's why, that's what gets me out of bed every morning, is uh, to make sure that the people that we interact with and the clients that we work with, you know, they have a, a safe environment that they can coincide with the urban forest. Great work, Ed. Thanks. So tell me, what do you think to climb in with the 572? The 572 is an unbelievable saw. Uh, it's got a sleek design. Going up through these tight canopies there, had no problem, didn't catch up on anything. It sucked tight to my body. The low profile design moved very well through the canopy. Uh, the power to weight ratio is impressive, especially taking some of these bigger sections of these oak, you know, up top or down below. The thing just handled anything we threw at it. Looks like some pretty sizable tough oak you got there. Yeah, northern red oak, it's, uh, it's a pretty hard species. You know, these are probably 60 to 80 years old, and uh, the client basically is just growing in on the, on the home a little bit too much. They're starting to get some mold and stuff up on the roof, starting to have some, some uh, moisture issues on the house, and they really just want to push it back a little bit and uh, kind of open up the space, get some more airflow, get some more sunlight in here. So the chainsaw, I was amazed at, for the size that it is, how much power that it has. You know, it's just got great low-end torque, and uh, the maneuverability, you know, second to none. Just the, the whole drive system and everything, you know, it's very easy to change positions. I didn't feel any sort of fatigue in the wrists and the elbows. You know, anything that helps make my job safer, easier, and more efficient, I, I like it. But I've just been very impressed with the overall uh, function and the operation of the chainsaw. It's, it's an awesome saw. So there you have it. Not only is it a great saw for ground use, but also up in the canopy as well. For more tests in extreme environments, check out the other episodes from the World Tour.